Hey guys, this is Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a free website with custom games and HTML codes. Now, if you want to put video games on your website or other HTML based widgets, then Yola.com is a great website to go to. Uh, other websites like Weebly and Webs.com don't allow you to put HTML based games or gadgets on your site. And the other websites that do allow you to are far too complicated for the average beginner to handle. Uh, now all you have to do to start is click the sign up button in the top right hand corner. Uh, after that give your website a name and uh, put your email address in. Now for the sake of simplicity I just made a new uh, email account. And now you're just going to click the create account button and uh, it should sign you in. Now you don't have to read the uh, confirmation email that it sends you to uh, start editing your website. You can just go ahead and start editing. And what you're going to do now is give your website a name. So I'm going to call it Derpface. Uh, don't ask why. This is just a test. And uh, you can select a different type of category and stuff like that. Uh, if you're unsure of what to do, just select other. It doesn't really matter. And then click Build It. Now at this point, uh, the customization is up to you, but there are a few things that some people uh, wouldn't normally notice. Uh, one of these things is in the widgets category and is the HTML uh, widget. This is used to insert games and other more complicated devices onto your site. Um, I've left a few websites for HTML games in the description, so if you want to have games on your website, then check those out. Now, to actually put games onto your website, you're going to drag the HTML uh, widget right over here or wherever you want to select it, and it will bring up the coding page for it. Uh, then you're going to go on to the website uh, that I've left in the description or any website that you have uh, found HTML codes on. Uh, you're going to copy the codes, and you're simply just going to paste them over here. Now, normally they're a lot longer, but uh, I don't really know what it was with that website, so I'm just going to save it. And as you can see right over here, it saved it here when I publish, uh, when I finally publish my website to the web, uh, I'll be able to play it right over here. Now if you want to make it a bit more professional, let me just X this out right over here. You're going to click page, add new page, and uh, save of course. Um, let me just click OK. And uh, you're going to name the page uh, Pac-Man, or whatever the name of your game is. Uh, in my case, it is Pac-Man. Uh, and then click Do Not Display in Navigation. And then click OK. Uh, now you're going to want to uh, copy the uh, page once you've published it. So uh, I'll go ahead and do that afterwards. But um, uh, before you publish it, just put the uh, widget right over here. And then uh, just paste it right over here. And it's pretty good to go. Um, actually, scratch that. Um, to make it simpler for you to find it once you've published it, you're going to go into Page, Page Manager. And just obviously click Save. And then allow it so that you can actually see it. Because um, you're going to want to see it once it's published in the uh, main menu. And then after that, you're going to uh, uh, go into your home page. You're going to make a text, new text box, and you're going to uh, paste the link or whatever, uh, or however you're going to get to that page. And you're going to paste it right over here, and uh, then you can go and make the page invisible. That's just for simplicity, uh, of course. But other than that, uh, different widgets such as embedded video forms and social networking are very helpful when creating your website. Uh, I personally don't use all of them and there is a way for you to actually sell things. So if you're going to go and um, uh, sell like t-shirts or whatever, uh, it's pretty easy for your website. Uh, forum, uh, pretty much uh, I, I like putting this on server websites or gaming websites just or even YouTube channel websites, just to get an, an idea of what my um, uh, community wants uh, in a general kind of way. Um, other than that, I really don't use uh, the file much, other than if I have a certain tutorial or something like that. I don't know, my website for Galactic Tutorials is pretty new. Uh, but other than that, we're going to get into customization. So you're 
pretty much going to click at X on all the default ones. Uh, they're not quite needed. You can make them whatever you want. And we're going to talk about the background now. Uh, obviously, you do not want this background or this banner, but the banner is pretty easily, easy to edit. I can just upload a new banner, and it's pretty simple, along with uh, typing your new name. Okay, so if you want to uh, edit your background, you're going to click on Style, uh, click Edit Background. Now, uh, personally, uh, Yola.com makes it pretty difficult to make your own custom background. So that's why I've created a template for you guys to use. Uh, this template is right over here. It's the Yola template.xcf. I'll leave a link to download it in the description. Uh, basically, it looks kind of like this. Uh, bring it up in GIMP, which is the program that you're going to edit this with. And uh, basically, there is a um, background over here where you can put your actual background. This is what your website would look like. Uh, note. There isn't going to be anything over here. This is where your website is. So if your background is primarily in this area, then it's not going to show. Uh, I'm not going to make a full tutorial in this video on how to do it. I'm going to leave a video right over here. It's how to make a free background for your YouTube channel. It's basically the same concept. Uh, I also showed you use GIMP in that video, so you should probably should click it if you don't know how to do either or one or the other. Uh, note that this is probably not going to be seen. Uh, when you first go on your website, like anything above the white little box. Uh, but ba yeah, basically once that you've actually made your background image, you're just going to upload it. Uh, I'll upload it right over here. And uh, just give me a sec. Takes a short amount of time. Ah, wait, I believe I've uploaded the wrong picture. Nope, I uploaded the right one, and it doesn't really matter. But uh, what you're going to do is repeat down. Uh, this just makes it so you don't mess up, and click do not scroll of page. If you do click scroll of page, it'll kind of mess it up when you uh, have a smaller window or a larger window. Uh, so don't really do that all that much. And uh, if it looks bad, uh, I haven't personally downloaded the uh, template into here yet. That's why it looks kind of stupid. This is just the default one. But if it looks bad, then you should publish it and uh, edit it later. Uh, I do, I do, I've done the best that I can because there aren't any other uh, templates out there. So I uh, hope that one helped you guys. It took me quite a while to make that template. Alright, so once you're done editing, customizing, I know I'm definitely not, uh, just click Save and then Publish to Web. And it will give you an option to make your own subdomain name. Uh, now, I know a lot of people want domain names, but that costs money, of course. And um, the reason why it doesn't give you a domain name is because it costs like a lot of money for the website user or the person that's hosting your website to actually like give you a domain name. So, you know, a subdomain name is probably the next best thing. And I know YolaSite.com is kind of stupid, but, you know, I'm just going to have to deal with it. And apparently, my website's taken, so I'm going to do Yola. I'm going to do derpface123.yolsite.com and click next. And now I can go on my website once it's published. And there you go. Now I think I can play Pac-Man right over here. Yeah, I can. Um, I don't really think I even had to make this little tab right here because it takes you right to the Pac-Man thing. So that's actually pretty cool. Some websites don't do that. That's why I just made a new tab. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to uh, actually go back and do that tab thing, you would copy uh, this page. Uh, you go back into the Yola editor. Uh, let me just click X on that. Uh, go into probably, go into widgets. Uh, make a new text box. I'm going to go and uh, copy and paste the HTML right over here. Then I'm going to make this page uh, invisible. So I'm going to go into page manager. Yeah, I'm going to save it. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to save. Okay, so I'm going to make it I'm going to make it visible. Uh, click OK. And once I'm done saving, I can publish it. And I'm pretty sure that it'll work. All right. Yep, it works. But uh, I, don't, I haven't added a hyperlink. So let me go back and do that. All right, guys. Yeah, I didn't add a hyperlink. That was kind of stupid of me. So let me just do that. Um, oh, wow, you can actually choose a page. So I could probably choose Pac-Man, which would be a lot easier of me. Well, 
That's pretty stupid to me, but whatever. All right, so I've done that, and let me just click on it, and yeah, it works perfectly. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. The uh, domain name thing is probably the only downside of this website. Uh, but if you like this video, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.